Hello and welcome back to ZoneMinder TV. So today we're dealing with systemd and MySQL configuration. First things first, we're going to talk about out of memory killing. This is um, when your system runs out of memory, systemd will pick some process that seems like a good one, it's using a lot of memory, and kill it. The problem here is that that will generally lead to database corruption. It's really not, you really don't want to kill MySQL. Generally, we're probably out of memory because ZMC is consuming a lot of... And if we kill ZMC, so kind of okay, like we'll lose a couple of moments of video, but, it, it, you know, ZoneMinder will just restart it, so it'll be okay. So, what we do is we simply, it, what we're going to be doing is editing the, basically the system, the control file for MySQL to tell it, don't kill MySQL. So, this is the command to edit uh, a service file. I think older versions of systemd didn't have this, but we're focal, which is new enough, and it has it. Uh, if you were running MariaDB instead, you would do MariaDB-server instead of MySQL. Let's install, if you were following along, we just used MySQL server. So this is the contents we want to type in. Service score adjust equals negative 1,000. That will tell systemd um, you know, to, to give it this preference, like, don't kill MySQL. So we save that. Do have to restart MySQL for that to take effect. And then to check that, oh, we have to see where MySQL is. We have to check that it's um, has taken effect. We can do this. 42035, that's the, the process ID of MySQL that we see above. As you can see, it has a negative 1,000. Let's check out what ZMC has, because we haven't done anything to ZMC, so it should not have that adjustment. Zero. Now, the next thing that we can do in terms of configuring systemd to do with ZoneBinder and MySQL, so Minder is, is a distributed application. Um, it, most people are probably going to run MySQL and ZoneMinder on the same machine. But in a larger uh, installation, MySQL might be on a whole other computer or in a different container or something like that. So the default ZoneMinder install does not actually depend on MySQL. We, we, if, if you were following along the first video, the first step I did was install MySQL first. I didn't have to do that. It could be, don't mind, the database could already be running on another machine somewhere. So the default config does not do anything special about linking the two. And now the thing is, if you restart MySQL, um, all the ZoneMinder processes that are trying to write to it will fail. Um, and that's kind of okay. We've written ZoneMinder to do its best to, to handle that kind of situation, but you're going to get missed database entries and a little bit of, of missing data. So what we want to do is tell systemd, if we're going to be stopping MySQL, then we also want to stop ZoneMinder, so it shuts down smoothly. So again, we're going to do the uh, system control edit, and this time we're going to edit the ZoneMinder service. So you have, in the last one with the um, MySQL editing, we were editing the service section. This one, we're editing the unit section. And a couple things we have to do. Because the default configuration, somebody's kind of weird. It, um, it wants to first clear the setting and then set the new. So there. Now when we save this and restart, what will happen is that Telling it binds to means basically if MySQL gets restarted, so does ZoneMinder. So we can see what's going on. See? Because we stopped MySQL, it first stops ZoneMinder. So ZoneMinder shuts down softly. So if you, obviously this isn't going to help you if MySQL is on a separate server entirely. But in the local case, on the small server case, that works great to reduce database corruption. Thank you very much for watching. 
If you liked it, please consider supporting us uh, through Patreon. Some other form of donation, you can go to zoominder.com donate for more options.